Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The day has finally come. We are going to finally dip the S2000 today, and I'm going to reveal to you exactly what color I will be using, along with a couple of uh, little add-ons, little extras for you, okay? Uh, but first, I want to go over what I will be using today, uh, the tools I will be using, and uh, the different bits and pieces of the kit that you can actually get uh, from dipyourcar.com for the plastic dip spray. This right here is the actual list of stuff that I got from Dip Your Car. This is the actual order that I have for everything. Okay, the copper metalizer wheel kit, uh, which you saw in uh, a couple videos ago. Uh, the Dip Coat Protective Spray, low pressure foamer kit. To, uh, that's what you use to actually wash the car. Some paint stirs, uh, dip solver. I used that to do the wheels. I had to take the old dip off because I didn't put enough uh, coats on there. The Ultra Accessory Bundle, and I'll show you what all uh, is part of that. And you can look at all this stuff on their website. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I do highly recommend if you have any questions about dipping that you contact them uh, either via email or directly on their chat on the website. I love the chat function on these websites. They're absolutely amazing. The people are extremely helpful. So I want to thank them for that. Uh, we got the uh, Dip Pearl Top Coat gallon uh, two gallons of it we got some Bora Bora color shift pearls that's one of the extras we're going there uh, I'm doing 75 grams in one gallon uh, just for a really light pearl effect over top of the color uh, I got one gallon of gunmetal that is going to be my base color uh, and try to cover up the yellow as much as possible and the actual color that I will be doing is intense teal and I've got two gallons of that so that will be uh, the thickest uh, dip on the car. Now to start out with, we will be using pre-dip spray to make sure there is no grease, wax, bugs, gunk, residue uh, on any of the places that we will be dipping. What you want to do is, uh, well, what I did last night when I washed the car, and I'm not going to show you how to wash a car because you got to do that. Uh, you'll use the pre-dip spray after you've got the car uh, washed and dried off and just get off whatever remaining residue that there is. Uh, do one panel at a time, make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies. And then after you actually prep the car, uh, get it all taped off and everything, then you'll use it one more time or right before you actually spray the dip. Uh, and this will ensure, uh, once again, that there's nothing on the paint that will prevent the dip from sticking. Uh, we have some tape, uh, plenty of blue tape. Uh, the yellow tape here is more of a a hard edge tape. Uh, it's supposed to provide very good edging. Uh, we have the tape and drape. Uh, obviously on the S2000 it is a convertible. I'm not going to be painting the top. Uh, so maybe just a basically just the lower section of the car. So I'm going to use this to try to mask that off. Uh, something I will be using, and I haven't seen a Fonzie, uh, the guy on dipyourcar.com, use this on the car itself. He's usually doing this on the wheels, but I'm going to actually apply the dip release uh, around the inner part of the fender here because the plastic comes all the way out and it's black. So I'm just going to put a little bit around here so that the uh, the dip doesn't actually stick to that. I'll just be able to peel it off pretty easily. So I'm going to do that on all four corners. Uh, the rest I'll tape up and uh, meaning like the back of the car down here. Uh, I'll tape up. Obviously I'll tape the top. But I'm going to try the dip, the dip release on this just to make sure that the uh, any kind of overspray can just peel off eventually. All right. So I got a stir in the kit. It uh, just hooks into a drill. I got a drill, so I'll just uh, mix it all up. So what I have to do is I'll have to mix the uh, base coat, the teal uh, color coat, and the pearl in the top coat. And uh, from what I've found, I'm just gonna use some mineral spirits to clean that up when I'm done with it. So, get you a little stir there. Uh, this is my personal spray gun. You can obviously order uh, a gun from dipyourcar.com. Uh, they are specially made uh, for dip your car and for dip, but I have seen more than enough success stories by using these Wagner sprayers. Um, as a matter of fact, I think Fozzie actually started out using the Wagner sprayers before he uh, got his own line of spray guns. So that's what I'm using. It's a Flexio 690, I believe. 
and uh, it's the larger gun and it should work just fine. Uh, this respirator here, I am in the garage, uh, my garage as you can see, and while I do have plenty of ventilation, I got fan there, fan there, it's open down here, uh, you still want to use a mask because, well let's face it, you don't want to die. I have here some mesh funnels that you can uh, just filter out any debris. You'll want to use it for the color coats. So for the gunmetal, I have to use it, and for the teal, I'll use it. So I got one for each, and that should be fine. Uh, obviously, you don't want to strain pearls because then you just strain the pearls on. You'll get that to happen. Uh, this is the one gallon of gunmetal gray dip spray. Uh, I got a couple of stirs. I really don't know if I'm going to have to use these, but we'll see. I'll put those to the side. These are the two gallons of the intense teal spray. Okay, so I'll have to stir those up. And then right here is the two gallons of top coat. Uh, basically a clear coat for dip. Okay, so it, uh, it seals everything in. But in the first gallon, I will be putting 75 grams, each of these is 25 grams, of the Bora Bora Color Shift KP Pearl, KP Pigments Pearl. And uh, that will go over top of the teal. And you can imagine teal with a little bit of flake, that color on top, I think it'll be amazing. Uh, second gallon of the top coat, this will be uh, just the top coat. I'll put it on after I'm done doing the pearl. I think I'll probably do, if I can get two to three coats of pearl on the car with one gallon, I think we'll be good there. Uh, as far as aftercare, they, they gave you a couple of uh, little stickers there. Uh, this here is a dip guard. It goes around your gas cap and just roll it up and put it in your, uh, your gas cap. And, well, not in it, but around it. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that if gas spills out, it doesn't actually get on the dip because it is solvable uh, by petroleum products. So gasoline will cause it to get soft and possibly get ruined. Uh, the dip coat uh, right here is what you would use to, uh, I guess, a few hours after you dip your car. You want to use this as like a, a uh, what do you call it, like a hardener almost. Okay, it, it, it goes from feeling rubbery, the dip, to being smooth, and it'll feel smooth as regular paint. Uh, dip wash, you can see I actually used a little bit last night to wash the car. Uh, this is highly recommended. It's a concentrate. I used maybe a half a cup of this to wash the car last night, so you can see I'll get plenty of washes. Uh, and it's fairly reasonably ex uh, inexpensive too. I, I don't remember the exact price of this, but it's not, uh, not that expensive uh, just to buy directly from the website. And also, this is what you want to use to actually wash the car, okay, and you'll, you'll use this um, when, you, when you spray it off, you want to use this actually wash the car. And it's kind, of a, it's kind of a spongy material, almost like an absorber cloth, that's pretty much what it is, but you can see it's not, uh, it's not microfiber. But anyway, that is what we're going to use today. Now I have to prep everything uh, on the car to get ready, and what I have done for you S2000 guys, probably the easiest thing to do for the brake light, especially if you have a wing. If I didn't have the wing, I would probably have just taped it, but it's a little hard to get up in here when you do have a spoiler on the car. So uh, I just took it out. It's five little five little nuts up under here. You can get to all of them very easily and it, it pops right out. So I took that off. I did take the emblem off. I have it taped up over there on the wall. You can see it. And what I'll be doing, I'll just be shooting that with gunmetal uh, so that I can put it back on. It actually popped off without uh, destroying the little clip, so I was uh, excited to be able to do that. So, you want to sit back and uh, relax for a minute. I will uh, get a little fast forward motion here and uh, show you what it takes to prep. Let's do it. All right, we are one step away from starting to actually spray. All I have to do now is use the pre-dip spray right there to uh, go over the car one more time. Anything that's gonna be dipped, I need to try to scrub it real good, make sure there's no grease, wax, dirt, debris, bugs, whatever um, on the actual paint. 
and I'm gonna go walk around the car here. I uh, gave you a quick little time lapse of uh, just what it took. It was actually about an hour and 15, 20 minutes to get this thing uh, taped up the way it should be. So uh, you saw that, but I'm just gonna kinda go over what all I did. So as far as the back, I wanna keep the bottom edge of that lip black. So I went ahead and just uh, taped over that, put some tape and drape. I didn't have to bother pulling it out. Uh, my tow hook here, the actual little uh, cover popped out a couple winters ago. I'm not really worried about it, so I'm just going to paint it all uh, one color and put a tow hook back in it that's black. Uh, painted the tail lights. As far as the trunk and the hood, I've taped around the inside edge of the bottom uh, just so it will stay open just a little bit and I'll be able to spray kind of along the inside edge of this a little easier. Uh, we'll see how that works. Obviously, I did the whole top. I left the top up and used uh, tape and drape. Got everything covered. Uh, went down up under the hood here. Uh, just put a little tiny piece of tape on the keyhole so I can peel that off. And the mirrors. Uh, by the way, these uh, things over the tires here, they actually come in the kit. The ultra accessory kit bundle thingy, whatever you call it. Uh, I got the headlights. It's my least favorite thing in the world to do is these headlights because everything is touching the paint and it's just not that easy to do. So I did that last. Uh, you can see up under the hood here. I went around the inside of this as well. Lay that back down. And I'm not closing it all the way. I'm leaving it popped up a little bit so I can actually get the inside edge of that. As far as the doors, there's no tape around the inside of this. And you can see I got all this done here. I did use the pre-dip stuff and put it along this black edge of the uh, plastic here just so it would be able to peel off. I wouldn't have to worry about trying to tape it. Tape the antenna. If I had even thought about that, I probably would have tried to actually take it out, but nah, screw it. I did take off the side marker lights. That's easy enough. You just take a little, take a little clip out here, put your hand up in there, pop it, it comes right out. No big deal. Now all I got to do is uh, go over with the spray, the uh, pre-dip spray, and then we can start the, uh, start the painting. All right, so I got the pre-dip spray on there. I'm just giving it about five minutes to actually dry completely. Uh, don't ever spray directly on the car, just spray on the towel and wipe down section by section. We are ready to spray. So this is gonna be an interesting process. First time I've ever done a whole car like this. Uh, so let's see how it goes and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully you all will like the color. Pretty sure I will like the color. Uh, just looking at the pearls here, imagine that over top of a teal. That's gonna be pretty cool. That's really neat. It actually doesn't give it any justice on the camera. It just looks like baby blue, but it's pretty cool. You better like that. Yeah, yeah, too dark there. Oh well. Once again, let's do it. Let's learn something today. All right. Here goes nothing. Right, I want to show you guys the process of at least mixing this stuff up. And please, if you have any questions or don't understand why I'm doing what I'm doing, just go to the Dip Your Car website or their YouTube channel. They got everything you need to know. This is for anybody that wants to dip an S2000 or really anybody that doesn't know much about dipping cars, just wants to see what a novice uh, perspective is. So this thing's hard to breathe through, especially with a beard here. Here is the gunmetal gray. Then open that up. This is my base coat. You can see it's kind of brownish. It's not really mixed up very well. So what we're going to do, put the drill in it here. Here we go. We're going to take it all the way to the bottom. Oh, yeah. It's already mixing up real well. Now you can see how thin that is. It's not even anywhere close to being as thick as household paint. We're going to sit it up there let that dry. And now we're going to pour it into our paint container here with the strainer. Always make sure you strain it, make sure there's no chunks in it. And uh, once we get it in here, I'll put this on there and we'll shoot you back over to the SJ camp so you can wash the spray. All right, we are done with the primer coat of Gunmetal Gray on the S2000. You check it out behind me here. No more yellow. Uh, it was everything I could do to get 
basically three full coats on this. The first coat was very, very fast, just very light, uh, just meant to uh, get a little tack on there. Uh, the second coat was a little bit heavier. Uh, the third coat was uh, heavy as well. And by the end of that, the last spray barely got what I needed out of it. Um, so when they tell you you need one gallon, you're going to need every bit of that one gallon. But uh, I've got two gallons of teal to go on it. And uh, oh, yeah, a little uh, tip that I just encountered here. Between the primer coat and the color coat, you're going to have to uh, actually clean your gun, clean the spray gun. Use mineral spirits. Basically what you want to do, and all the guns are pretty much the same. I mean, some have different spots, but at least if you're using a Wagner like I am, uh, you just take the uh, cover off here. There's a couple pieces inside that you can take off. You put it inside this, fill it up about halfway with some mineral spirits, let it sit for maybe five minutes. Rinse the rest of it with some mineral spirits. Just kind of rub it with your fingers with some gloves on it. And after it's all become loose, you can run some water on it and it washes right off, no problem. So it takes about 10 minutes to, to do that. It's no big deal. So between uh, your base coat, your color coat, you have to wash it between your color coat and your top coat. Uh, you got to wash it as well, so uh, I'll have to do that and hopefully I have enough mineral spirits. But uh, I'm going to let this dry for another uh, maybe five minutes or so, but you can actually see it's already, it's already dried to the touch. And for anybody that's wondering exactly what the heck this Plasti Dip stuff is, this is the uh, little turbine they give you to mix up the paint. But as you can see here, I've been just kind of messing with it. It just peels off. So it's like it's like a vinyl wrap. You put six, seven, eight coats of this on there on your car and it protects it. So you can imagine this is just one coat here. And it's tough stuff. It's really tough stuff. So that's uh, that's one of the major benefits of this. If, you ever, if I have a brand new car, I'll probably go ahead and dip it. Uh, probably some crazy color, you know, because that's what I'm into. But as you can see here, I'm just uh, pulling it off. You let it dry, it'll pull off by itself eventually. So. There you go. That's what it is. All right, a uh, couple more minutes and uh, I'll go ahead and start getting the teal on the car. Oh yeah. Now I gotta be honest, it looks like uh, maybe an early 90s Ford color. And our camera looks a little bit more blue. In person it's slightly more of a seafoam green. Uh, but it will go on the car a lot lighter than what you see in the can. So. Uh, Let's do this! Finally got some color coming. Okay, all, I don't know, four, five, six coats, I don't know what it was. By the time I got around to one side and got finished, it was 15, 20 minutes. So I just kept on going around in circles and I am exhausted. I've probably sweat about five pounds in this freaking garage, but uh, it is teal. <laughs> now remember, it's not going to be teal for long. It's going to be teal with a, uh, like a bluish, bluish pearl to it okay so uh, here is your first look at the teal no pearl yet but the teal ready here we go oh yeah Let's see if we can get it from different lights here so here it almost looks like a baby blue and it's pretty well representative of what I'm seeing in person Look how that bike has bumper looks. Man, that thing looks good, especially in that teal color. Okay, definitely looks much more baby blue on the camera than it does in person. It's more of a sea foam uh, or aqua, aqua green kind of in reality. But uh, there you go. 
I, uh, I did have some problems out of my sprayer and I don't know if maybe just because it's getting hotter in the garage or what but I had to actually turn up the pressure and turn down the paint so it took me a little bit longer to actually uh, spray than it was earlier uh, in this go around here for the teal but now I'm going to let this sit for probably I don't know 25 30 minutes or so and uh, I'll come back out here and get the top coat with the pearl going uh, it'll give me time to clean the spray and everything and get ready for that and uh, I think we're we are well on our way to being complete with this thing so wish me luck uh, I'm gonna go in and have a whole bunch of water because I am freaking dehydrated right now it's so hot and then we'll come back out and I'll show you how to mix pearls all right guys the moment of truth this is where it all comes together uh, we'll be putting the color shift pearls into the first gallon of the top coat. And like I said, I'm going to be doing all the pearl in basically one gallon of top coat. So I want about two real light coats of the pearl. I don't want it to be the most uh, obvious pearl. So that's why I'm going with this. Um, let's see how this goes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have completed the pearl stage. It got basically two coats. Uh, one gallon will do basically two coats on this car. Uh, it is pretty small, so that makes sense to me. Anyways, um, how do you like that? Look at that shine. Nice, shiny, Bora Bora pearl over a teal base coat. That looks so good. And I know it's going to look really good with those wheels when I get all these covers off and put everything back on. Get the clear sides on and get the brake, brake light back on. Get the black emblem back onto the uh, trunk there. Oh yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I got to wait uh, about 40 more minutes to do the final clear on top. I guess I'll do about two of those. And uh, and then it's done. Then it's just a matter of getting all the tape off and getting everything else off. You got to make sure to peel it off nice and carefully to make sure nothing's bridged, blah, blah, blah. Dude, I am so happy with this. It looks so freaking good. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The camera does it no justice whatsoever. A little bit of sunlight on it. Yeah, that is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. And the... Uh, the bumper looks so good now that it's painted. So good. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Fonzie, thank you. Vicrest, thank you. I've made a mess. <laughs> I'll admit. I've definitely made a mess. Luckily, the overspray is not terrible with this product, uh, with the dip, but definitely needed the entire garage to do this. So, as you can see, it's all over the plastic here. But it doesn't go more than maybe two feet out. I'm not tracking anything into the house. And, uh... There's really no kind of film all over everything either, other than the fan because it's kind of blowing everything out, but everything's good. It all looks good. So I got the SJ cam rolling. That'll make a neat little effect. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the clear and start pulling stuff off of it. And I will show you the final product uh, in a cool little video. I'm just still trying to think about exactly how I want to do the, the big reveal on how everything looks together. So. Uh, I will be working on that and uh, we'll get this clear on there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are up here on the beautiful Blue Ridge Parkway, uh, just over top of Roanoke, Virginia. You can actually see uh, the back side of the Mill Mountain Star over there. If you're from in the area, you know what that is. Uh, if you're not, check it out if you're ever around. But um, just want to go over a few things before I show you the car in all of her glory. Oh yeah, I got a Band-Aid on my nose. The uh, little respirator thingy wore a, wore a rough spot on my nose uh, last night painting, so. But 
Couple things I took away from this. Was it difficult? No. Was it easy? No. <laughs> and uh, there's a couple reasons why. Uh, one of them is pretty much, I guess you could blame me for it. I didn't get the actual dip your car uh, sprayer. I used my own Wagner sprayer, which you saw. And uh, I had problems with that. I think it does great painting a house. So painting a car, eh, I think uh, in, you know, a couple years time I might go ahead and just get their sprayer. I've heard really really good things about it. Also, uh, there are some tips that I can give you, at least things that I noticed that I kind of screwed up on. One of them is around black edging. Oh, do you see that bumblebee? Around black edging or any kind of edging like you see here, you can see where it actually boogered up a little bit. Um, I would actually suggest not going all the way down to the paint with your tape. I would leave like a two millimeter gap uh, on the black. It actually will leave a better line and actually come off easier. Uh, I don't know if you can see right here. You can see where I didn't bring the tape all the way down. It actually gave me a crisper line. When I brought it all the way down, it actually wanted to peel off the yellow. So I'll have to try to touch that up one day. But, you know, I could touch it up or I could repaint the car eventually or just leave it the way it is. I mean, from back here, you'd never know. Also, the uh, the wheel covers that I got in the kit, they're not completely paint-proof. Uh, I was having problems with a sprayer at one point, and it was shooting a lot of globs of paint. And I was using the wheel cover as like a, like a tester, and some of it actually got through. Uh, so I was able to get a lot of the color off of the wheels uh, that had gotten on there, but there's still a little bit on there. I'll have to figure that out. Or, it's so minute, I'd never see it anyways. Uh, also, when you're taping up around the trunk area, uh, allow room for the paint to actually go through and uh, colorize the inside of the trunk area because I can actually see some yellow uh, through the color there. Uh, the bumper turned out absolutely fantastic. It looks great on the car. It looks great with the color. I absolutely love the combination. I love the side splitters. Uh, I got the black emblem on the back now. I sprayed that yesterday with everything else, as you saw. Uh, would I do it again? Absolutely. Will I do it soon? No, not at all. <laughs> uh, it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be, but then again, it could have been a lot harder. And a lot of the problems I had with it were my own fault. And wow, you love that background, don't you? That's nice. Anyways, um, here is the car in all of her glory. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Okay.